suppose I have a Ferris wheel and it has three masses on it. Two of them have mass capital M and the third has mass little m. I want to know which value of mass little m balances the Ferris wheel out. If the Ferris wheel is balanced, that means it's not going to move. And that means by Newton's second law, uh, when alpha is zero, the angular acceleration is zero, that means also the sum of the torques is zero. So I have to write down that expression, sum of torques equals zero, and then start thinking about what are all the torques on the Ferris wheel. Well, they are coming from the masses being pulled down by gravity. There's one right here. Uh, this one has a, a value mg times r, where this is capital M, because that's how much mass this guy, this guy has. And that, for, that torque actually points into the page. If you think about r going from the pivot point of the Ferris wheel over to where the force is acting and then curling your fingers down, that goes into the page. There's another torque uh, that comes from this mass up here at the 60 degree point. Uh, that one is not uh, um, into the page. That one's coming out of the page because r actually points over to the, uh, to the left and then r cross f points out out of the page. Notice that I have to take the sine of the angle between uh, the r vector and gravity. So that's an obtuse angle. It's 60 plus 90. And then there is the, the torque on the small mass that's going to again be out of the page. Uh, it's little m times g times r. The g times r cancels out and I have m times uh, uh, sine of 60 subtracted off of uh, capital M, and then I take a minus little m. And I end up with little m has to equal 1 minus square root of 3 over 2 times capital M. So if I told you what these masses were, you could solve for, or what the big mass was, you could solve for the little mass. That's approximately, by the way, about 0.3.